Part three of a three-part series, my dead battery, kind of what I did with the rewiring and, and here's the results of everything. So let's take a look. Thanks for tuning in. Jeff Ferris on the Hot Homestead. So, part three of my dead battery and rewiring and all that. So let's take a look and I'll kind of brief you. Um, I'll also put a link, what, up here I think? Or maybe it's over here. Anyhow, somewhere in the corner on the other two videos so you can get caught up on there. But I'll just give you just a briefing of what's going on here. Let's take a look. All right, so I just measured the voltage on those guys there. A week ago, that one was 6.1, it's still 6.1. Now there's no load, I'm not charging, nothing. They're just sitting there idle. That one's the same at 4, that one's the same at 6.1, that one's the same at 6.1. 6.1 on a 6 volt battery technically is still dead. I think it's like what, 50% or 40, whatever. Anyhow, these here, it worked. They're charging right now. In fact, right now, uh, can you see 30 volts, 7 amps going into them. So now I have 24 volts still, 6, 12, 18, 24. But instead of 920 amps, now I have 460 amps. But it made it through the night with my heat tape going. Because my temperatures are still getting down in the single digits, low teens. The high's been like even a couple times, only 28 degrees. So I'm hoping, so I was hoping that this would work and it would keep my heat tape going. And it did, it worked fine. Water lines didn't freeze. I made it through the night. However, it still didn't hold the charge as well as I like. This here is 24, 460 amps, is 11,000 watts. I was using probably overnight, maybe 500 watts. You know, probably, probably, probably a little bit more max because I still would have lights on and all that for a while. So, so let's just assume so. Let's assume 700 watts overnight. That's like roughly 50 watts an hour for like 14 hours. You know, because there's a lot of... Before I'm actually getting solar on the uh, panels. That's only 700 watts. If this whole thing is 11,000, I should not be dropping down to like 70%. I should be only dropping maybe 6%, maybe 10%. So what I think has happened is these have been working overtime to keep that one going, or that one's been bringing these down, and so now these don't hold their charge as well as they used to. Now granted, these batteries are 10 years old. However, though, if that one would not have gone bad, and I would have depleted the battery's lifespan these batteries should have lasted 20 years in fact actually most any of your renewable energy batteries these deep cycles if you keep them above 85 percent and keep water in them and keep them above 85 percent they'll last 20 years because you don't because a life cycle is measured at 80 percent so once you deplete it down to 80 that kills a life cycle and these life cycles here, this should have lasted longer, but I didn't catch that battery soon enough. Anyhow, it's working. This is my update. And, uh, oh, I also checked the temperature of the batteries. These here still are consistent while they're charging. And I didn't check it every single day, but I just checked it a couple times. And they're all still consistent, so that's good. And the water levels are all good. So I feel good. It at least bought me some time so I can save some money for lithium batteries. So that's it on this one. See you. Bye. Have fun.